Hello everyone, this is Randy here again. Another episode of Farm and Simulator 15. And we are playing on the Great Smoky Mountains. For, uh, I guess this will be Season uh, 3, I guess I'm going to call it. Kind of had the Bjorn home there. Uh, the main map, and yes, now we're on the Great Smoky Mountains. Very uh, hilly map, nice looking map, I have to say. Been uh, enjoying it so far, been playing a little bit already. Not a whole lot, just kind of driving around, checking stuff out. Now, I haven't checked yet, I'm not sure if you get water from here or not, but uh, we'll have to look into that. Anyway, equipment we got, we're starting with uh, four tractors. We got the John Deere 68, 6810 I believe, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 6810. And we got the Hurley Mint, 130, International, 1455, and then we got a Massey Ferguson, 7622 over here. Uh, this tractor looks way bigger than the rest of them, I'm not sure why, but it does have a little bit more horsepower. It's 200 horsepower. The rest of these are in the 100, 120, 30 range, I believe, if I remember correctly. So, yes, we do have the Case IH Square Baler. Uh, identical to the uh, New Holland one, just a case I each skin on it, as far as I know, anyway. Haven't used it yet, so hopefully it'll work. Marshall Bale Trailer. Amazon Cultivator. Uh, Flagle Manure Spreader. Windrower Marshall Trailer for grains and stuff there. Pressure Washer, of course. And in the shed, we got the plow. Planter, mower, and oh, tetter. So starting out with some somewhat basic equipment. Um, trying to go as much mods as I can. Obviously not a whole lot of mods in uh, some areas yet. Uh, truck. And trailer, uh, in-game trailer, modded truck obviously. Rather uh, nice looking truck I thought. And then we got a Case IH Combine, uh, 5130. I'm not 100% sure I didn't actually take the time to check, but I'm pretty sure it's the same as the in-game one. They just changed it to uh, 5130 instead of, I think it was 7-something. Uh, 7130, yeah, they just changed it to 5130. Uh, Header-wise, actually I'm not sure. Header-wise I think is a little bit smaller. Yeah, 35 foot. This one here is 25 foot. At least that's what it claims to be anyway. So, And then an 8 row corn header to go with it. And then you guys probably seen that already when we first started there. Our little uh, Chevy truck. Now it looks really small next to the other tractors and vehicles. I'm not sure why. It's just a sizing thing or what. But uh, yeah. Yeah, and I thought a really cool uh, looking truck. Rather uh, difficult to drive, but uh, then again, the in-game truck is as well, so. Yeah, definitely likes to slide around a lot. Yeah, like I said, the in-game truck isn't uh, no uh, joyride either, really, so. I'm not sure if I blame the mod for this or Giants. Uh, Field-wise, we do own, I think, is there five fields? I didn't actually count. Yes, five fields. 12, 18, 17, 19, and 20 there. Kind of a nice little grouping of fields. Uh, 18 and 17 are grass. And then 12, 19, and 20 were some random crops. Uh, Multi-fruit map does have soybeans on it. I don't think there's anything else on the map, if I remember correctly. Just soybeans. Yeah, just soybeans. And then there is the uh, green manure mod, so that does add. I think that's that alfalfa and one other thing. That's uh, primarily for the green manure mod. Uh, starting out, I uh, think we'll focus mainly on animals on this uh, time around on this map. Ooh. Yeehaw. So starting out with 10 cows, 10 chickens, and 10 sheep. 
can figure out where we're going. It does have some really nice uh, objects around this map I think look pretty cool. Uh, fun bridge to get through with the uh, combine here. Yeah, once you get going with this truck, it actually drives pretty good. It's just the uh, slow speeds that actually seem to be bad. I don't know why that is, but... I think that barn there looks pretty cool. Uh, it looks good from a distance. You get up close to it. Hey, no nope, cutting in line here. Looks pretty good from a distance here, but uh, you get up close to it. Yeah, it's not so good. And we're heading up to kind of what's the cow area here. Kind of the top corner of the map. Okay, and we'll cut them off now. So yeah, it's kind of a farmyard up here as well. I'm not sure what's considered the main farmyard here. Uh, this is actually the reset point up here. But when you start the map, the uh, all the vehicles, in-game vehicles that the game starts with, uh, something to look right over there, are down at the other farm there where we started the uh, video. I don't know. I, am I missing something? <laughs> it looks like those cars are floating over there. I can actually make it over there with this bloody thing. Oh, come on now, you silly truck. Yeah, that's what I mean. This thing is, like, impossible to drive. No, okay, looks like they're on the road. I'm not sure what I was seeing from over uh, on the other side of the field there. Okay, so we'll head back to the main farm here. I figure first thing we should probably do is get some food for our animals. Okay, now I could have swore I just seen that car drop down there. all these uh, slow pokes here. Uh, stores right in front of us here. Kind of like a little town area, I guess you could call it. Yeah, it's like you're uh, driving on ice with this truck. Nice looking mod and all. And again, I'm not sure if to blame the mod for this or Giants, but let's get up to speed. It drives good. It's just the slow speed that just likes to spin around all the time. Might be better if I used my steering wheel. I'm not sure if that would help or not. I haven't actually uh, tried that, but... Get a little bit uh, better steering there. That might help. Yeah, you kind of tell there, you know, I'm making that turn there. Actually, we should shut it off. Making that turn there into the farm there. Pretty much took that at full throttle, full or as fast as it would go anyway. Turned right in, didn't do any uh, silly stuff. But yeah, as soon as you start slowing down, and it starts acting silly. So, uh, let's see what's here. 
more wise. Looks like I'm going to be either using the Massey or the Hurleyman here. Now we do have some straw we could bail too. Bail our wise. Just see how much horsepower that bailer needs. 230. Might be cutting a little close with the Massey here. We'll have to find out. And you guys can probably see, yeah, uh, compared to the other tractors here, this thing's like twice as big as everything else. Now, will you turn it on? Ah, insufficient power for the available attachment. Interesting. Actually, you know what? This might actually be a problem with the tractor itself, now that I think of it. thought they had fixed that. And this is supposed to be, I thought I put the most recent edition of that one in. thought they had uh, fixed that, but maybe not. In which case, I might have a tractor to bail with. Okay, now I know one of these tractors ran this bailer. I don't remember which one now. Yeah, insufficient power. Maybe it was an international. I'm pretty sure it wasn't the Hurleyman. And by the way, we definitely need to see modders putting uh, more vehicles out that look like this uh, John Deere here. Yeah, this case international isn't too bad, but definitely not uh, anything spectacular. The only complaint I do have about is that uh, crazy arm. I don't know why uh, modders bother doing that, but uh, they do, so. Ah, uh, insufficient power, okay. Did I sell the tractor I was using for this thing then, maybe? Oh, just check the Hurleyman here, man. I'm pretty sure it wasn't, because I know I had a tractor here. I hauled it down here and checked to make sure I had enough horsepower for it, and I did. I must have sold that tractor, though. Begs the question, which one did I use? Yes, I didn't think so. And we better shut them off. I keep forgetting to do that. And just to check here, I think that Massey actually does have enough horsepower. I might have simply forgot to put the updated one in that actually, yeah, it does actually have enough 260 horsepower. So it should have enough. I might have forgot to put the uh, updated one in. So that might be what's going on there. Got 125. Yes, the rest of the tractors are all entirely too small. 135. And the Hurleyman is 130. I'll scroll through the tractors here. That might have been the tractor I was using, maybe. Okay, I might have switched them out, put the wrong one in. I used a couple tractors here to haul all this stuff down here, like I said, and I might have, uh, that might have, I thought it was the Massey, and that might have been the Massey I was using. That would uh, make sense. Well, that one actually technically has enough as well, don't it? Uh, maybe it was this one. I was using one of these two here. Interestingly how both of these actually have the same horsepower. And that don't seem right. Anyway. Let's uh, do some mowing then. And we we'll, can hopefully just use the Hurleyman for that.
Oh yes, we do have a couple of uh, weights scattered around inside this building as well. Haven't uh, used any of them as of yet, so... Okay. Yes, so... Uh, boy, it's gonna be a fun hill to make it up with this tractor, yee -haw. Guess we'll just uh, start a mowing. Hopefully that is ripe yet, isn't it? Looks awfully short. 18, yes it is uh, ready to be mowed, okay. Turn it on, lower it down. And away we go. Yeah, as you can see, a very uh, hilly map in spots. There are some flat spots on it. Oh boy, <laughs> we're out of power. Oh no, we're actually out of traction. Let's try that then. Put it in four wheel drive, that ought to help. That's not so bad then. Yes, yeah, definitely a very uh, hilly map. Kind of the maps I like. I like to see some uh, hills on the map, so. The uh, area where I live is actually quite hilly as well, so that's probably why I like that type of thing. I don't much care for the uh, flat maps. Also, don't care much for very hilly maps, and this is probably pushing the limit on as far as very hilly goes, at least in spots anyway. Like I say, some of the fields aren't so bad. Like the one with the straw on it there. That one's not too bad. Uh, the Hurley Man here is in-game tractor, as is some of the other random equipment. Like I say, don't have mods for everything yet. Plus, there are a few pieces of in-game equipment I haven't tried yet, so I thought we'd uh, you know give them a try. Thought this uh, Hurley Man looked rather nice, so I thought we'd try that. And then obviously we got the Wind Rower Tether that's in-game. I haven't seen a whole lot of mods-wise for that yet. Oh, we did have a couple comments on the last, uh, actually last two episodes, I uploaded two of them there. Uh, yes, my uploading computer there failed again for, that would be, oh, which one was it? Yeah, look which video actually failed again. I believe that was the Meg map. Was the one that failed. And then I re-uploaded it again with the uh, multiplayer episode there yesterday. So yes, had uh, two videos going live there within a couple hours of each other because it failed to upload. Uh, anyway, uh, Ross was asking, is Fraps a free recording software? No, Fraps is not free. It is, I think, 30 bucks or something like that. But it probably arguably is one of the better ones out there. It creates a really high quality, very large file. But yes, the fi file it does produce is of really good quality, so it's the one benefit of using Fraps. We had some grass there, the mower either skipped over or couldn't mow. I'm actually surprised this tractor's going up the hill as good as what it is. Uh, there are a lot of objects to uh, collide with on this map, so definitely not going to be a very hired worker friendly map. We'll have to uh, see what we can do to work around that. Obviously electrical pull right in the dead blame middle of the field there. Not the uh, nicest of locations for that. But, you know, kind of what you'd expect to see in real life. So, we'll uh, try to work around it and see what we can do. Uh, I'm fairly certain we'll be pulling some hired workers off it uh, a few times, I'm sure.
uh, the Meg series video there. Christopher was saying press key 9 and the saddle tanks will appear. I am assuming he is referring to the uh, John Deere 84T there, tracked tractor. Doesn't specifically say, but I'm assuming that is what he's uh, referring to by that uh, comment. And King Alon was saying that Klaus Chopper is a very, very good mod. Yes, it is. That Klaus Chopper, that new one anyway. Uh, the first one I had, uh, it's okay mod. It had a few uh, things that need to be tweaked on it yet. But it was pretty good as well. But yes, that second one, they definitely seem to fix a lot of the uh, issues the first one had. Like the Crone steering wheel. It's now a Klaus steering wheel. Comes with a halfway decent look at Klaus header. Not the greatest Klaus header. And I definitely would like to see an uh, animation on it. Unfortunately, they went cheap and didn't include that. On that, yes, it is actually a fairly good mod. Yeah, a tractor likes to go down the hill. Not so much up the hill. And at some point I may get uh, course play to uh, help us with this as well figure any uh, extra grass we get we could probably uh, sell it I'm assuming there's a sell point on this map I actually haven't uh, looked at that there is it's probably actually at the other uh, farm location and actually as far as farm goes there actually are a couple other uh, random farms around this map here Actually, I wonder if you can auto tractor to go up and down like this. I've never tried that going up and down. I have done the uh, you know around and around the field mode in the moment, but I've never tried up and down. Uh, stop. Why do you not stop? Oh, I'm thinking... Uh, no, I got out. That was uh, weird. I was thinking maybe the game had crashed there for a moment because I couldn't control the tractor, but uh, okay. Ah, just for the fun of it, I'm going to save a moment. Got a few more minutes of recording that I'd like to do yet if we can. Rather than not lose the uh, 20 minutes or so I've got already. Let's just give this a try. Listen, check. Actually, let's turn that uh, on. I guess that would be on. Turn mode, yeah, that should be fine. Field detection's running. And yeah, I don't know why it blinks like that. That is, uh, like, really annoying. And wow, it's going slow on the field detection. Oh, there we go, finally. Enough of that nonsense. My goodness. Uh, yeah. I think he might not have it here. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, now he's got it, I think. That sure was up with that first bit there. Oh, let's grab... Eh, international, sure. 
Oh, come on now. Let's start. There we go. That's a rather interesting uh, start node on this tractor. And a very annoying arm. Otters can definitely forgo them crazy arms. And yes, hopefully by next episode I'll have to look and see what's up with that tractor. Either I forgot to put the new one in, or possibly the new one still don't work yet. Thought it did, I thought I had checked that. There's like, uh, I think three versions of that tractor out now. I know uh, Ian Robinson, he used it for a while too and ended up with the same problems. I think he actually fixed it himself there. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the moderate himself or herself or whatever, whoever it is, actually did release a couple of fixes for it. As far as I know, I thought they had fixed all the problems with it. Uh, if I can't get it fixed, I will probably switch out one of the other masses here. I know one of them was working, because I'm pretty sure that's what I was using to run the baler initially, to try it out. Interesting, not sure why it's quite swinging around like that. And why it stopped there, that's kind of weird. Uh, this is the in game, actually, you know what, uh, I think I actually do know why. This is the uh, in game tether, by the way, not a modded one. I think I've, I actually haven't used this one before, and I. If I recall correctly, I think a few people have actually said this one doesn't work real good. It does that type of thing. Skips every now and then. Could be the tractor too. It obviously mod a modded tractor, so three-point linkage on a lot of tractors seems to be uh, messed up. I don't know why, but... Doesn't seem to like the hill. Call. I think this baler actually might accept it in the uh, grass form, so we actually might be able to leave it that way. Yeah, we'll still tether it anyway. That's kind of the uh, correct way to do it, so to speak. Actually seem to do uh, pretty good on that round there. Okay, let's see how it go, does going down. I did slow the speed limiter down, so hopefully that'll help maybe. Uh, not entirely, no. Actually not entirely, I would say probably really didn't help at all actually. Oh, uh, Mower's guy got that bunged up a little bit, doesn't he? Oh well, he's still doing the job, but yeah. Not quite uh, making it all the way down. Interestingly enough, that uh, 
Case Combine did the same thing on this map. I harvested... Oh yeah, it was the... Uh, it was a wheat or barley, whatever was on this field. I think it was wheat. Did the same thing on, kind of annoying. You can see, I kind of see the curves over there. And the uh, straw swath. It's doing the same thing over there. I don't know why, but... Uh, definitely kind of annoying. Oh, is he going to make it all the way to the end? No, I think he's going to stop. And now we're probably going to be in his way. I haven't uh, taken the time to do it yet, but I do want to try and see if I can delete this arm out of here. Like I said in the past, I don't much care for these arms in these vehicles. Kind of annoying when you're sitting in the cab here and steering and stuff, just doesn't look right. Especially when you look at that. Yeah, he's definitely doing some weird mowing there. Anyway, folks, with that, I think we'll uh, call it an episode there. I shall probably continue... Uh, mowing and Ted in this and probably finishing up and uh, hopefully next episode we'll do some uh, wind rowing and bailing. So yes, yeah, so if folks have any comments or questions, uh, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time.